That's so good. Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, your vegan friend, Johanna Earthly Ramos. Happy New Year 2022, friends. How y'all doing? How have you come into the new year? What kind of intentions have you set for yourself? I for real, for real want to know. Okay, so let me know in the comments below. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so very much for making my channel a part of your schedule today. Before we get into, into today's video, <laughs> I wanna take this time to ask you to check yourself or double check yourself. Are you subscribed to my channel? Did you click that button? Yeah, you did already? Okay, well you be sure that you, you click the bell too. Yeah, all right, well if you haven't, click the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the content that I create for you here on this channel. It's the new year, 2022, and it's, it's symbolic. You know, your new year can start on any given day at any given time during the year. But this seems to be a very symbolic opportunity for you to do just that. So for that reason, I wanna really take the opportunity to speak to those of you that have decided that this is the year that you are going to make a vegan lifestyle a part of your lifestyle. On behalf of all that is good in the vegan community. First off, welcome. So glad that you're here. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you clicked on this video to give me a chance to talk to you about some guiding principles that have really helped me in my journey as a vegan. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm not really sure how many of these principles I'm going to share with you because I just want to talk, you know, friend to friend, about some things that really have helped me sustain the longevity that I've had as a vegan. So maybe in the title it will say how many guiding principles, <laughs> but if not, let's just go ahead and jump right in. As of today's date, which is January the 7th, I have been vegan a total of eight years, eight months, and four days. I mean, who's counting, right? I am, I'm counting. Because along with falling in love with Jesus, listening to God when he said, Christovia is your husband, Becoming vegan has also been one of those defining decisions that I've made to being the, the woman that I know God has purposed me to be. So I definitely feel like I have uh, earned the right to really give you some nuggets of things that can help you as you decide to transition or maybe you're already vegan and you're just looking for ways to be sure that you're truly grounded and in for the long haul in this beautiful lifestyle. The first guiding principle that I will share with you while starting or continuing on your vegan journey is know your why and even more so be convicted in your why. Hold tightly to your why you decided to take on this vegan lifestyle. I say that because it has to be so much more than a pair of jeans or a dress that you're trying to get into. It has to be so much more than looking a certain way for your reunion that's coming up uh, real soon. It has to be deeper than that. Some of you know, and some of you have no idea. So I'm gonna let you know a little bit about my why. And then maybe you'll understand the conviction part of it that I'm talking to you about that is so important that you have as a guiding principle in your journey. In January, 2013, my husband and I suffered a great loss. We lost our one and only pregnancy. To say that I was devastated has never seemed like that word just wasn't descriptive enough. I was 
destroyed, ravaged, ruined, shattered with grief. That is a much better way for me to describe what I was going through and what my husband was trying desperately, praying desperately to bring me out of in January of 2013. And in that loss, uh, the doctors said what, what they should have said. You know, we don't know why these things happen. It's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. There's, there's nothing that you could do about it. And while I heard their intentions, that just didn't work for me. <laughs> Uh, God didn't make me that way. So as soon as I realized and had that thought that God didn't make me that way, I went to the source and I talked to him and I said, Father, there has to be something I can do. Something I can do that would even possibly keep me from ever having to feel this level of despair again. And he said, you can control what you put in your body. And that became my why our baby coming here to live in this body for a short amount of time was purpose to let me know that I was sick and that they couldn't stay, but that I could do something about it for our future children, our baby's future siblings. So that is my why. That is my strong conviction. So you could say that I started it for my health, my, my physical health, uh, my mental health. <laughs> Veganism helped me with my mental health, health. It increased my spiritual health. I became even closer to God as I began to eat from the earth and the things that he put here as my medicine to grow from the ground and to make me whole. That has sustained me. Know your why, be convicted in it. Because let me tell you, people are gonna come and out of the woodworks when you decide that you wanna be vegan and have all the reasons as to why you shouldn't. All the reasons. I mean, where were those people when I was eating a half a pot of pig feet by myself? I said it, yeah, country, country girl. But as soon as I decide I wanna eat vegetables and fruit and nuts and seeds and grains, what are you doing? That's not healthy. Know your why. Be convicted in it. <laughs> Trust me. At some point in your journey, it may be a week later, a month later, six months later, six years later, those same people asking you why, somebody's gonna ask you how. <laughs> Just know your why and stay convicted in your own truth. My next guiding principle is to share with you, remember this is your journey. Yours, not anyone else's. Whether you are single and you have friends and family that you desperately want to pull in, or you have a family in your home that you're preparing meals for, you've been doing this all this time and now you've decided to take this vegan journey and you want them to do it too or they gonna do it or starve, let me help you, don't do that. This is your journey. You decided that you want to become vegan. You decided this because of whatever your why is. They did not. Because you decided that you're going to take this vegan journey, be accountable, responsible only to yourself in this. If they don't wanna eat what you eat, then that's something you need to think about. Y'all need to discuss, okay, well, either like me, you're gonna prepare more than one meal then, or you'll prepare one meal and just remove the animal protein as your portion. This could also be a way for your family to eat more fruits and vegetables, all right? They may still be eating the animal protein, this is your journey. You just don't eat it. You eat everything else that's been prepared. If you start making this a, a platform for you to get on and start wagging your finger and you're going to create tension, you're going to create disdain, you're going to create a feeling of the opposite of love. 
That is not what this lifestyle is about. You don't want to begin arguing or having your family not want to even be around when it's time to eat or sneaking out and eating other things because they want what they want, even though you are, have decided to have this, this new lifestyle. Don't do that to yourself. This should do nothing more than bring you closer together. Even if that person or those people are not where you are in wanting to move forward in this vegan journey. There was, it was about two years that my husband just watched me, <laughs> you know, to be sure I didn't die. Just eating fruits and vegetables. <laughs> and then he came on board and he decided, no, you will not make separate meals. No, we will not have separate buggies at the grocery store. No. That time came at its own pace. I didn't have to, to force it. I'll give you a promise. You don't have to tell people about what vegan has done for you because your journey will speak louder than any words that can come out of your mouth. Just live it. Just live it out for yourself and it will speak volumes. The next thing would be, I urge you not to compare your journey to anyone else's. Ooh, good old social media, right? There's just, so many beautiful pages on Instagram and Pinterest and even right here on YouTube, beautiful channels of people just making all of this amazing, colorful food. And you may be wondering, well, why doesn't my journey look like their journey? Because it's not yours. <laughs> because you got your own journey and it's gonna be wonderful and beautiful and delicious in its own right as well. We spend so much time comparing our lives, our bodies, our hair, our careers, just our relationships, our marriages. So many things we already wanna to compare to everyone else's instead of just enjoying what we've been given. Don't make this another thing that you do that with. Make this yours and love it because it's yours. Now I'm not saying don't be inspired by other people's journeys. But don't get so involved that you miss the beauty of what lies uniquely in your own journey to transitioning to a vegan lifestyle. The next thing I wanna urge you to do, if I could demand it, I would, get blood work done at the beginning of your vegan journey and then every year thereafter. This is so important. You definitely want to be sure that your body is responding in the proper way to all of this amazing food that you're putting into it. The fact that you've cut out the dairy, the animal products, but you wanna be sure that your body is responding properly to that. So go get your blood work done. Specifically, asking for that blood panel to include uh, B12, since that's a primary a B vitamin that we would usually find in animal protein. You won't be getting that anymore. And it's very, very important for the health of your nervous system. So be sure that that blood panel includes your B12. Uh, looking at your protein levels. We're getting protein from our greens now. So much easier, so plentiful, but let's be sure you're getting enough. It should already include your vitamin D levels, um, that's very important. So just get, get a full panel of blood work done. I actually did a video not too long ago about how I discovered that I was vitamin D deficient. And I've told you, I've been vegan over eight and a half years and I found that I had a vitamin D deficiency. So I'll definitely put that video down in the description box below or put it in the cards if I can remember it. Be sure that you check that one out as well. We gotta be sure that our bodies are responding the same as we continue to age, that we're giving it everything that it needs in this vegan lifestyle. The next guiding principle I would give you is to definitely keep your vegan journey simple. Don't overwhelm. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Someone just called. I was calling. Trevor, I need to take this. Trev, Trev. 
Hey, hey, uh, so. Since he just stepped in here and gave me that good sugar, that, that reminds me like, one of the big questions I get asked is, how did your husband react to you transitioning to a vegan lifestyle? So I would definitely say that there is a video on this channel that is six years old. I'll put it in the description box below <laughs> called being married to a vegan where I interviewed him after being two between two and three years on my vegan journey. Uh, we definitely need to do that video again <laughs> because some things have definitely changed. Um, let me know. No, let my husband know in the comments below that you want us to redo that video. I mean, I can tell him and he would definitely do it because he loves me. But if y'all said that y'all wanted to see it, that would just be kind of special. So let us know in the comments below if you would like for us to update that video sooner than never. <laughs> Keep it simple. Don't get overwhelmed with all the information that you are certain to find <laughs> about transitioning to vegan. If you are already someone who loves to cook like, uh, you know, a, a plate that has animal protein and vegetable and a starch and a bread, just remove the animal protein. <laughs> That's like the simplest thing you can do, right? Don't think you gotta revamp everything, right? You're not losing anything, you are gaining everything. Keep that mindset. Or if you're someone who loves to eat pizza and hamburgers and hot dogs, okay, lucky you that you picked 2022 to transition to vegan because all of those things are easily, easily veganized. I said it, easily veganized. Well, I love seafood. They got fishless fish fillets. They got crabless crab cakes. Keep it simple. <laughs> but please eat a salad too. <laughs> Just eat a salad too, all right? Eat a vegetable with that stuff. Just, just do it. If you are someone who has been a picky eater in the past or just not very adventurous, you just like to keep things like you, like you have them, take this time now to explore the produce section, baby. That is my candy store. It's so beautiful. Be adventurous, try new things. You think you're gonna get bored? You think you're gonna get scared? Just walk down the aisle and try a new fruit or vegetable every time that you go in. You will never run out of new things for you to try. And if you're a picky eater, in this lifestyle, you really want to be more adventurous. Nothing's gonna hurt you. And if you just put olive oil, salt and pepper on whatever that vegetable is and throw it in the oven, you welcome. <laughs> it was like, I think like in the first year of me being vegan, every vegetable was roasted. And guess what? My family discovered with me how amazing roasted broccoli is and roasted green beans and roasted potatoes and garlic, roasted Brussels sprouts, roasted carrots. Oh man, that was delicious. We haven't had that in a while. My bad. Be a little more adventurous. You will not be sorry. And while you're being adventurous, if you're someone that's like, girl, why are you trying to put me in the kitchen? That'll be the reason why I don't stick with this lifestyle. Okay, I got you. I got you, sis. I got you, bro. No problem. <laughs> Download the Happy Cow app on your phone. Well, no, wait, not right now. You're watching me. Just take a note. <laughs> take a note. Then when we get done, you're gonna download the Happy Cow app. Doesn't matter if you are an Android or an Apple user, download it. It costs, uh, the last time I checked, it was $4 for the life. Like even if you switch phones, you'll still have it. The best $4 you will ever spend, okay? Because with the Happy Cow app, no matter where you go in the world, Happy Cow will let you know every vegan, vegetarian, vegan friendly restaurant within a 50 mile radius of where you are right there. You'll probably discover restaurants in your very own backyard that you didn't even know had vegan friendly options, right? While you continue to figure this out. Be adventurous, get the app, keep it simple. I guess all of those are gonna be in one. <laughs> I think the last 
guiding principle that I will give you is don't let anyone tell you that you're doing vegan wrong directly out of their mouth telling you that you're doing it wrong or through their pictures and their portrayal of their own vegan journey you take that as you're doing it wrong don't let that happen whatever reason you decided to become vegan is the right reason could have been for your health in the beginning like me it could have been because of the animals you love animals that means you don't eat them okay or it could be because you have a strong conviction of taking care of this planet that God gave us to live on <laughs> no matter which of those three reasons it's the right reason and let me give you a little secret at some point you become all three reasons in some form or another you do so don't let anyone tell you you're doing it wrong. At the stage I'm at right now, I am the perfect vegan for me, <laughs> okay? I don't have a Pinterest style vegan life. I eat vegetables every single day. I eat fruit every single day. I try my best to drink fresh juice or have a smoothie at least three to five days a week three days minimum but guess what I had apple pie and ice cream for dinner last night mm -hmm. and for a snack before bed I popped open a can of large pitted black olives with some sea salt <laughs> and it was amazing don't judge me you can't judge me because I'm not gonna let you because it's my vegan journey and it's beautiful and it's perfect for me. To go along with that as the final guiding principle, let me just remind you that this is a lifestyle of compassion. Compassion for yourself, compassion for the animals, and compassion for the earth. But please start with having compassion for yourself. You're not going to get it all right right off the bat. You're probably going to get irritated after the third time your friends invite you to go somewhere for happy hour and all you can eat is a side salad, which is basically cucumbers, romaine lettuce, and a cherry tomato with a side of fries. <laughs> Don't forget the fried mushrooms, uh, french fries, and the fried, <laughs> fried, fried fries. <laughs> Y'all hear this guy? My point is, be compassionate to yourself, to those around you that are learning this new way of, of living that you've chosen. And they, those that want to learn are those that love you. Okay, so just show that compassion to yourself. Enjoy this journey. It's a beautiful, delicious lifestyle. And I'm not trading it in for the world. Nope. I hope that you all enjoyed this video today and that it definitely helps you and that these guiding principles you can take and incorporate into your own vegan journey. Uh, be sure again to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and let me know in the comments below um, just if it helped you or not or which guiding principle stood out to you the most. And of course, share this with people because you don't know who's on a vegan journey. They might be keeping it secret because they're scared of the judgment, okay? You might have a whole tribe out there and you don't even know about it because you're not sharing. Share your vegan friend with your friends. All right. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Y'all have an amazing rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Babe. Yeah. This juice. This juice, though. You want some? Yeah. <laughs> Do you even remember what you put in it? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. You wanna know? Y'all wanna know? Yeah, you wanna know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they have some. We have some apples. <laughs>
Okay. So green and red. Okay. Cucumber. Mm-hmm. Parsley, cilantro, ginger. A little celery? And lemon. That celery was very little. And a little celery. Yeah, because you taste sodium. So good. I do taste the sodium. Yeah, I taste the sodium too. Yeah. I ain't put a lot of that in there. See? Just take what you got in the fridge and throw it in the juicer. Y'all be all right. Yeah. 